I want to use these two skiing examples to discuss something uh, that I'm going to call edging patience. And what I'm using it to describe is how a skier is patient through this sort of middle coming into completion phase, middle coming into completion phase of, of the turn, the sort of shaping part of the turn. And I would say the feeling you would get as a, as a more refined skier is that you're patient with the edge angles you've built through this section, which allows the skiers to continue carving and working and you're not disrupting them from finishing off and shaping the second part of your turn. You can see in the skier below, they start out with good early edge angles, okay, perhaps a little bit sort of overcommitted to the inside here, but then the edge angle goes from being quite high down here to then flattening very quick. So their movements are to sort of get off that, um, that edge angle they've got and get into the next turn as opposed to being patient and riding the edge angle, watch the above skier, riding the edge angle they've got for a little bit longer more down the fall line. So you're being patient as though if I were to draw it, you start your turn and you spend more time down the hill here as opposed to this skier starting their turn and then quickly coming across this way. So edging patience. And I'm working with a Carve at the moment to help refine for their new release in their software coming out the tips and the ability for you, the user to look at some of this data and gain feedback on their edging patience to help them figure out how to improve their skiing. So it's something you can look out for in, in Carve's technology coming that it'll be able to tell you how patient you are in this middle part of the turn where I'm saying you want to allow the skis to continue working, not rush them in coming off their edge angles and not rush them into turning and getting into the next turn too quickly. Hope that made sense and uh, you enjoyed that video.